stop talking right now because hey y'all it's your girl Chanel welcome back to another video I just wanted to start off today's video by just acknowledging all of y'all who started off on a new journey recently I've been getting messages saying that you guys have started grad school started uh, a new placement or you've graduated and you got your first position as a therapist or you're starting a new internship and I just really want y'all to be very proud of yourselves for the positions that you have put yourself in today to be at where you are and I really just want y'all to take a moment to just celebrate. I know sometimes you're going to experience ups and downs, you might question yourself, imposter syndrome might come up, but I want you to recognize that you can just take things day by day. I really want you all to enjoy the process. I know sometimes we wish for like the end goal like I can't wait until I'm a therapist or I can't wait until I'm in my private practice and of course we should of course if, we, if those are our goals work towards those but enjoy the process as you get to that phase in your life because there are so many things you can learn where you are right now there's so many connections you can make that will help you get to your end goal but in addition to that just enjoying the process will make it that much more rewarding when you get to the place that you want to be. So take things day by day, enjoy the process, have fun, and celebrate yourself. I'm super proud of you, and I hope you guys are proud of yourselves as well, where you're at. Um, but yeah, just really want to acknowledge y'all and just, you know, remind you to give yourself a pat on the back because you did that. You did. Okay? So today is another day in the life of a therapist. Um, it's going to be a chill video. Uh, I have four sessions today and I actually have a meeting, a meeting with a virtual assistant and the reason I'm meeting with a virtual assistant is because I am finally in the phase where I'm ready to grow my business and as a therapist we have a lot of opportunities to grow our business whether that be uh, expanding so as you guys know I'm in private practice so whether that be expanding to a group practice where there be other clinicians whether that be you offering a group uh, counseling sessions, whether that be you offering workshops, whether that be you creating a course where individuals can do a self-paced course on their own, or you just create a course where they would come up and you would have meetings with a whole bunch of other people as well. Like as therapists nowadays, we have a lot of options and I've honestly been sitting on a lot of ideas, but not necessarily taking action. And I think that's partially because of imposter syndrome. Um, and the work that's going to be required to put in to get to that position and me trying to balance again doing YouTube, um, also running my own private practice and I recognize that again I need to let go of some control and request help. So I'm meeting with a virtual assistant today to ask a whole bunch of questions. I actually have to prep some questions before our meeting but I'm meeting with her because I really just want to see in what way a having a virtual assistant will assist me in meeting my goals and if that will be the next best step for me because I do feel like I want to grow my practice and of course I do have to make some structural changes in my practice. I think I'm going to be changing the type of practice that I have um, but I will talk about that later once I speak to my accountant. And yeah, so I'm super excited about this new journey. I'm hoping that the changes will take effect at, in, um, as of January. Um, and so we'll see. I'll take you along the process. But that's what my day is going to look like today. And then most likely hubby and I are going to the gym this evening. My husband is back at work today. Actually, his first day back since um, coming off the hol uh, summer holiday. So I feel like I also will have a bit more flexibility to record my videos and put out more content because I don't know if y'all are like this in your relationships, but I've been with my husband for 11 years now and I still just want to be all up underneath his armpit. Like <laughs> I'm obsessed with him. So when he had all the summers off, I would just, again, use my time to just chill with him and spend time with him. We have a lot of fun together too. So I think that's what, what it is, but now that, again, I have the full day um, where I'm mostly home by myself again, I will be putting out a bit more content. And if y'all haven't noticed, my hair is a bit thin. Well, it's a lot of thin. But I decided to perm my hair. I started off my YouTube channel back in 2013 as a natural girly um, where I did a big chop with my 4C hair and I was documenting my hair journey. And it's just been an uphill battle. And so I decided to go back to the perm and, and I'm, I'm just really happy that I made that decision because my hair is just easier to manage. I actually just permed it yesterday. So that is an update about, I guess, my hair. 
random off topic but anyways i have to prep for my sessions and then i will uh see y'all when i'm actually in the meeting with the virtual assistant so what i'm hearing is that in terms of like you attracting clients and stuff that's not necessarily your expertise it's just like administrative stuff yeah, yeah. So okay. I can definitely give you those two names. When we get off the call, I can send you an email with that information. Please, that would be great. Because it definitely sounds like you need someone more, like, involved in the SEO. Um, and my friend Laura that I mentioned, the first VA that does SEO and website, she can help you with blog writing, too. It's just, Perfect. it comes like, the content, you would still need to give her the content because, obviously, she's not in the psychology space. And, yeah. But she can kind of take a blog that you've written and make sure that it's like sprinkled with the SEO keywords that you need and kind of spruce it up a bit and then like show you, you know, kind of what it should look like and and do all the SEO and, and that type of thing for you. So, and now I'm doing like a hundred hours a month for her <laughs> between oh, wow. me and my team. So yeah, it's pretty, it's gone from 10 hours to a hundred. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much managing everything. I'm doing all the onboarding, I'm helping with the hiring, I'm training the therapists. Um, I'm training all the new admin staff. Um, my admin team is like answering the phones, answering emails, doing some billing stuff. Um, we're doing a little bit of social media for them. Um, yeah, there's, it's kind of more administrative and that's kind of what we're hoping to like stay in. Mm -hmm. Hey also, I just finished up my meeting with the potential VA. We're actually not gonna end up working together at this time. She tends to focus a bit more on administrative tasks and that's not the support that I need. So she's gonna refer me to other VAs that may be um, more aligned with what it is that I need right now. I am kind of nervous because I feel like there's gonna be a large upfront cost. Um, it's me really betting on myself again and taking a step forward. I'm trying to pull away from it being my practice to having like an organization name, which I'm going to have to come up with um, so that it's like just a practice in itself that's not associated with who I am. And so this is scary to me, but I'm going to do it. I'm excited but nervous. Wish me luck. I don't usually talk about things before I do it in a public setting, but here I am doing it. So let's see how it goes with me opening the world to these next steps that I'm taking in my business. Um, so I am on my break right now. I have a feeling I'm just going to have some lunch and do some more planning, um, check off like things that I've done on my to-do list and to make sure I'm in alignment with my goals for the month. And yeah, I have the rest of my sessions for the evening. Okay, I'm still in the same spot. I am now just, I want to update you guys, give you play by play. I just tried calling my accountant. He wasn't available. So I messaged him to schedule an appointment because I am really stuck on my um, format of my company. So I've shared with y'all when doing my financial videos, breaking down how much my expenses are, whatnot. I've shared with y'all that I incorporated my business from the beginning and one of the, there was a main reason why I did that and now that that reason may no longer be an issue for me I feel like I no longer want to be incorporated I feel like <sighs> I may need to make a change and so I'm kind of stressed out about that process I'm not sure if it's the best decision and so I really want to talk it through with my accountant before doing that um, but I do always recommend and again I'm not an accountant everyone's situation is different my situation was very different from a lot of therapists that I knew when I started my private practice um, but I usually recommend kind of starting off your practice as a sole proprietorship instead of incorporating right away um, and there's so many reasons to that, but I'm not an accountant, so I don't want to go into too much detail, but I was at a point where I incorporated my business and now I'm kind of like, hmm, maybe I don't know if this is a structure that I want. So I'm going to talk to him, talk about my goals and see what he says before making that decision. Um, but yes, I messaged him so I can make an appointment to discuss on uh, my goals with him. And then now the VA that I just spoke with, she sent me all of her uh referrals for what i'm looking for in um i guess digital marketing to support me in my business and so i'm sifting to their websites to see if they will be a good fit for me as i try to grow my practice and one major thing is if you have a group practice 
um, you want to make sure that you are getting leads. And so that is a huge thing for me. I want to be at a point where I'm constantly getting a lot of leads. And for myself, uh, the leads that I'm getting to my website and all that kind of stuff is enough for me as one person. But I want to make sure that if my uh, if I have contractors, if I have therapists who are working under my company, I want to sh- ensure that they're fulfilled as well and feel good about the amount of people that are reaching out to them, the consults that they're getting. And so that's my goal to ensure that I have someone to support my business structure so that I'm always getting leads that are enough for the amount of therapists that I would like to work on my team. So that's the homework for right now. And so just let you know when you are managing a practice and you're also trying to grow a practice and you're also a therapist, there are many hats that you have to wear and hopefully I can show you all of that in these videos to come. If I'm being honest with y'all, I feel like so vulnerable saying that I might be going from a corporation back to a sole proprietorship and I don't know if I can even say back to but it's just kind of like I started my corporation with the intention of growing it far quicker than I have in the sense that I thought I knew what I wanted but as I was doing my practice I learned that I did not know what I wanted to do with my practice and in what way and so although I'm able to make six figures in my practice on my own um, I just feel like I didn't grow as much as I would have liked to in this past year and a half year and three quarters almost two years and so i'm kind of struggling with obviously sharing that but it's honestly also my fault because i've been laddy laggy gagging i don't even know how the word is i've been fooling around not being as serious about growing my practice just kind of focusing on my um session to session therapy And so if I do have a conversation with my accountant and he's like, hey, you know what, like your goal is still to grow, you are taking action towards that. I think it's best that you keep the corporation given the expenses that you had to pay initially starting this corporation, like the lawyer fees and the accounting fees on a yearly basis and the registration with um, my governing body, all that kind of stuff. Then it's like, (sighs) okay. So yeah, there's just like a lot going through my mind and there's like a bit of like embarrassment that it's like I'm going from a corporation to a sole proprietorship again, even though there's no need to be embarrassed. Like it is what it is, right? But yeah, I think this is just kind of like my critical mind coming in and like trying to overpower me and tell me like, oh, Chanel, you should be doing better when it's like, in fact, I'm doing great and it's okay for me to accept where I am and just recognize there's no better time than now to just get going. So take it from me, y'all. If y'all need encouragement to get started on something that you wanted to do, let's do the damn thing. Let's do it together. And we can reframe just as we do with our clients about how we think about our situation. I should know that I there's no reason for me to feel guilty or shame about kind of how my business is transitioning. I think it's more of an ego thing, to be completely honest. But we're going to get through it. And it's okay. It's okay. Business goes ups and downs, ups and downs. And business is still going well. But I'm just kind of like in my head a lot. Just thinking like this is where I should have been. But I didn't do anything to like get myself there. Instead I was having a lot of fun. (laughs) So it's focus time. I'm going to stop talking and eat some damn food. But also the funny thing is, if I watch back some of my old videos, I literally be like, yeah, it's Friday, I'm chilling, and I'm okay with where I'm at right now. Like not having any intention at that time to grow my business. So I feel like in hindsight, I'm sitting here like judging my past actions when in the present moment of those actions, I felt really good with what I was doing and just taking my time and being at ease. But I think like pre-COVID Chanel is coming back where it's like I always need to be doing something. And that's kind of the critical voice that's coming in my head saying, you should have done this when literally during the past two years, I'm like, yeah, I'm chilling. I love this life. I'm good where I'm at. But yeah, so like I'm literally having an internal battle with myself. 
and it's really not that serious it's really my ego trying to get at me and i need to tell my ego to stop talking right now because I will do it. We will do it. We will get it done. And yeah, I'm still gonna talk to my accountant though, because I need to figure this out. <laughs> but yeah, essentially with a corporation, I'm paying out more money to the government than I need to. Um, but again, there are tax benefits to having a corporation. My battery died. But as I was saying, this is why I suggest always speaking to an accountant. Um, it would be even more helpful if you had an accountant or if you were able to find an accountant who works specifically with therapists to support you in deciding the structure, the business structure that you should have for yourself. Again, you can ask your colleagues who are doing the same thing, but again, everyone's circumstances are very different. And just as we individualize our treatment plans for our clients, your accountants can advise you based on your individual needs and where you're at and um, your goals for your business. So, yeah. I need to stop rambling and stop thinking about this because I'm just going around in circles. And uh, my accountant said he's going to call me back tonight at 7.30 once my sessions are done for the day. So that's the tea on that tea, sis. Okay. Let's eat. Okay. I'm clearly not done talking about this. So you know how if you do CBT as a therapist, um, one of the things that we talk about are cognitive distortions or negative thinking patterns. And as I think about this, I'm like, what negative thinking pattern am I going through right now? And I really feel like I'm maximizing this like issue in my head i really do because i feel like i've had this conversation with my accountant like two times and he's like chanel you're on the right path like understand it but i think because sometimes i don't know like in my experiences i've had like different accountants throughout my career as like having different businesses i feel like sometimes accountants don't speak layman language and because i don't understand accounting it's like, but this doesn't make sense to me. It's like you're saying one plus one equals three, when in fact it equals two. So where are you getting these numbers from? <laughs> and so this is why I need my accountant to like reassure me 7,000 times because I definitely maximize what I think is like a risk in my head or like, again, as I mentioned, I feel like I'm giving the government more money even though I'm making tax savings by having a corporation so it's like i really need to break this down so i just need to share that because as therapists we're human and we also go through these things as well that our clients go through and so sometimes my husband literally has to check me he's like babe what negative thought pattern is coming up for you and literally i just heard his head and i was like yeah i'm like spiraling right now but just wanted to share that and one thing that i actually do i found this actually when I was starting my practice, I was like stressed out. I was stressed out one about quitting my job. I was also stressed about the job in general. Let me know if you guys actually wanna know why I quit and what that process was like and what my experience in my last job, last job was like. Comment below and let me know. But I was really stressed out about the whole quitting the job experience and I was stressed out about starting my practice and like just being really concerned about it being perfect. And one thing that really helped me and even just knowing about the virus that was going around and everything with Black Lives Matters, like there were just so many moving parts that happened in 2020. Like, I can't believe that was two years ago. But anyways, um, what I found really helped to like calm me down and like literally take my mind off of everything that I was stressed out about was playing video games, literally. And so like, I now understand how my husband just loves video games. I used to love Sims. Like when I was younger, I was obsessed with Sims obsessed i feel like i haven't played sims all the way into university but it just didn't hit the same now and so i actually found a recent game this is not a sponsor i feel like i introduced that like you know when you're watching youtube videos and it's like oh they're coming up with a sponsor this is not a sponsor but on the tesla there's this game whenever we would pull over because we went to chicago whenever we would pull over at a stop i had time to either watch a movie on netflix or play a game and so i found this game and it's called fallout shelter on um what yeah it's called fallout shelter so i downloaded it actually on my ipad and that's what i'm gonna play now this needs to stop playing that's what i'm playing now to like just give my mind space to breathe until my next session while i eat some food so yeah y'all got to see chanel spiral <laughs> yay <laughs> i'm currently hey, I
working on this video. It's a self-care video. Thank you guys for voting in my poll about if you want to see self-care videos or not. This video is actually uploaded already if you want to check it out. I feel like I'm going to create a self-care series to support us as therapists and helpers um, to keep ourselves accountable for taking care of ourselves because this is a very, very, very important asset or facet of our lives as helpers and people in this profession. So self-care for the win. Got some time before my next session. So I'm going to work on this video and yeah, until my next session, I've already prepped. Case notes are up to date. So here I am trying to get more videos out to y'all. Again, thank y'all so much for supporting me on my channel. I really appreciate it, y'all. And your feedback when y'all comment. Honestly, sometimes I get discouraged, not gonna lie. And I don't know why, like, sometimes I question, like, who is this version of me? Before, when I said on YouTube in 2013, like, I really felt like I just didn't care. I just did whatever. I was really happy. Uh, I was just posting the post and I feel sometimes like this comparison comes to mind for me where it's like oh but this person is doing so well or why are my videos getting as many views or why like is this video not necessarily doing as well even though it has so much great content in it so honestly any feedback you all have come below please let me know um and sometimes like, I'm like, I don't even know if I should include this. And so I take out a lot of parts of my videos because I'm like, maybe this is boring. But I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. And I'm still trying to be myself while figuring it out. So bear with me. Just want to, I guess today's just like a vulnerable video. <laughs> y'all getting the inside scoop on what's going on in my head. Try not to get discouraged, but it can be hard sometimes. But uh, when you guys let me know, like, this video has been really helpful or I really like seeing your videos on a weekly basis. It helps me. That's honestly what I keep in the back of my head so that I keep going because I'm like, even if it's helping one person, that's like, that's valuable. And so if I know it helps one person, it can help many people. So I have to be patient and I'm going to stop talking my inner dialogue out loud right now <laughs> and work on this video. Okay, y'all, my day is done. Um, I'm actually going to spend some time finishing up my case notes for my last couple of sessions. And then I'm going to plan for my day tomorrow. I have honestly found, I honestly don't know why I stopped. Um, having this format of a journal is just so helpful. This is the High Note Collection from the High Note Collection. It is a 17 month deluxe hardcover planner. And having this has made my life so much easier. I honestly have no idea why the hell I stopped planning to the extent that I once did because I'm just knocking things off my list and it's actually allowing me to just advance myself and feel like I'm working towards more again. So I'm just really happy to be back in the flow of things. To be honest, I'm completely exhausted right now but I need to just get this done so that I can start off tomorrow with a fresh day. And comment below if you guys have any specific questions that you would like for me to answer. Once I hit that 23,000 subscriber mark, I'm gonna do another Q&A. So I just wanna prep, have my content ready, and we are so close to hitting that mark. So comment below, let me know if you have any specific questions you want me to answer around being a therapist, running a private practice, whatever that is. And I really hope you all enjoyed yet another video. Thank you all again for always subscribing, sub supporting, and just being here with your girl throughout this process. Wishing you all the best on your journey as well. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye!